So the learning target for today is I can solve multi-step equations, bless you, with variables, bless you, on both sides of the equal sign. It's a lot of words, but I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Yeah, Trevor. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I just want to remind you about our about our rule to keep equations balanced because we are definitely going to be using this today. Make sure your phones are silenced, please. Okay, so we have this handy dandy rule that says that operations need to be performed on both sides of the equal sign. And the reason it's important to do it to both sides of the equal sign is um, is it has to, the equation has to stay balanced. Yes? Is it P-O-R? Or P-R-O? What is it? P-R-O? P-E-R. P-E-R. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, spelling, definitely not my thing. You would think after 37 years of writing that word, I would have it down, but I don't. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do a very basic example. So you have 3A is equal to 2a plus 3. So notice that you have you have variables on both sides of this problem, okay? Well, going back to our handy dandy rule above, it says that we can perform operations as long as we do it to both sides of the equal sign. So what we're gonna do when we have variables on both sides is we're gonna collect them all on one side. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use inverse operations, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this whole thing to A. And if I do it to this side, I also need to do it to this side. Okay, now 2A minus 2A is zero. That's what we want. We want to have zero for this right here, and we're now left with just three. And then 3a minus 2a will just be an a, 1a. Not so bad, right? Well, we'll see how you feel by the end of class. Um, but let's go ahead and check our answer too because um, it is m more critical than ever at this point to check your answer because it gets harder and harder to do that check mentally. Because when you have several variables, you have to plug it into each variable, you're going to get lost in your head there. Okay, so this is going to be 9 is equal to 6 plus 3. Okay. And then um, I'm going to combine like terms here. And yeah, that's the solution. I just want to make a note of what we just did though, so that you can remember. Um, what we did is we collected the variables on one side
side of the equal sign. So that's what we just did. I'm going to do another example and then I'll let you guys try it out. Uh, I'm going to step it up a notch. We're going to we're going to add a little bit more to this. Actually, you know, I really want you guys to Let's go ahead and I'll continue on with how I was going to do it. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. You have 3v minus 8 is equal to 7 plus 8v. Okay. Now, you have a choice when you're solving these. We could subtract 3v from both sides to get rid of this, to move this over. Or we could subtract 8v from both sides and move it over here. So um, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you will still get the right answer, okay? But one choice is a little simpler than the other. I, I don't like dealing with negatives if I don't have to. And if I were to subtract 8v from both sides, then this would be negative 5v over here. But if I subtract 3v from both sides, then this will be positive 5v on this side. And I prefer to work with positives. Not that I can't handle negatives, I definitely can, but it just makes the whole process more simple if we can avoid negatives if possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to choose to subtract my 3v. And that way what I end up with is a positive variable expression or term, I should say. So 3v minus 3v is zero, so you have negative eight. And then I'll bring down my seven. Now 8v minus 3v is 5v. Okay. Now I have a two-step equation. So I'm gonna subtract first here, just like I normally would. I'm gonna breeze through this because you guys are already experts. Divide both sides by five, and I get that negative five is equal to V. All right, I'm gonna check real quick and make sure we're good. Because like I said, this is a lot to try to do in your head. So I would highly recommend that you actually physically do the check on paper. I love to do it mentally. It saves me a lot of time, but even I have to check it on paper. Did I make a mistake? Um, didn't it just make it just divide by five and negative three? Oh yeah. And I would have checked it and saw that it was wrong. <laughs> so that's why it's important to check it. I know something's wrong when I look up and like half the class has their hand up. It means I made a mistake. And mistakes just happen. They do. Okay. Okay, thank you. But if I had, if you guys hadn't caught that mistake or if I was working alone, I would have done all the work and not gotten the same answer on both sides and known that I had made an error, okay? So this is negative nine. Okay, and then this is negative 17 is equal to negative 17, so we're good. Yes, Anna. You're good? Okay. All right, time for you to practice. Walking around if you need anything.
I know some of you aren't, but I do want to be mindful of time because I want to have a chance to talk to those students that didn't finish their quiz yesterday. Okay, so for this one, I want to show, I want to tell you that yes, you could subtract 7n from both sides, but it's not going to do you a whole lot of good because then you're going to be left with zero on the side and it's just going to add a step to yours. Um, so I would choose to subtract um, 3n from both sides and I'd, I'd also get a positive over here which is so much easier to work with. So I'm going to choose to subtract 3n from both sides and I'm going to be left with 16 is equal to 4n. Divide both sides by 4 and I get that 4 is equal to n. Is that what you guys got? Yes, awesome. Okay, on this problem, um, you can either subtract 5a from both sides or 2a from both sides. I'm going to subtract 2a, and we're going to get 3a minus 5 is equal to 7. And then I'm going to add 5 to both sides, so I get 3a is equal to 12, then divide both sides by 3 and we'll get a is equal to four. So they're both four. Any questions about that? Okay, I have one quick example to show you because um, we're gonna step it up even a little bit further on this. We're gonna add what we did last Friday to what we're doing today. 